Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video we're going to react to a video called The Olympics May Have Started an NBA Super Team. Steph Curry and LeBron James had a wonderful time together in the Olympics. Them boys had the ultimate bromance. And who knows, maybe Steph Curry goes and plays with LeBron. I don't know. It won't be this year, but it may happen. For more content like this, make sure to smash that like button. Let's begin. Does this not look like two guys who desperately want to play together? Immediately after USA won gold, Laker fans are cooking up trades to get Steph Curry to LA. But that's right. not the only super team people want to see. Anthony Edwards and Kevin Durant had a serious bromance going on. Okay. KD even showed his new little bro how to fix his jumper. But there's two other super teams that could happen from these Olympics. And I know it's fun to think about, but it's not impossible. In 2008, LeBron... Steph Curry, LeBron, KD, Anthony Edwards. Who would win? You tell me. D. Wade and Chris Boss hatched a plan to one day play together, which it became the Miami Heat. Steph, KD, and Andre Iguodala bonded first, winning gold at the 2010 World Cup before winning chips in Golden State. I mean, when Boo! F that. Hate that. 12 guys get together to accomplish something special. It creates a bond. Just listen to how Chris Paul described it back in 08. There was a group of us that played cards every single night for 35 straight days. That's when a lot of the relationships that you see were sort of forged. <laughs> so which super teams could that, that 018 got aura, man. Sheesh. Possibly happen now. Well, we've got to start with Steph Curry and LeBron James. But underdog is He's an amazing way to make this NBA offseason. I don't know. You try to get that. You try to get that promo in. But how are you going to get that promo in when you talk about Steph Curry and LeBron? Skip, skip, skip. Owner Joe Lacob called to get LeBron at the trade deadline last year, which told wow. us two things that are still true. Steph totally on board playing with LeBron even before they did the night night together. And number two, there must have been some info about LeBron wanting to leave. We know the Lakers are a mess. Maybe he's unhappy. I mean, two of the top four players at the Olympics were Lakers, but they're still a mess. I would rank them. LeBron won, followed by Steph because of what he did in the final two games. KD a close third and AD number four. The brow has changed his game since he stopped shooting jumpers and got in shape so why are is anthony davis number four on that team now i know the people jason tatum people are like how the hell is he <laughs> how the hell is this man number four and then we got the man who just won a championship but he won finals mvp i don't know anthony davis i'm not taking him i guess you may have an argument that he's number four but he's not he not the fourth person i'm taking on that team i'm taking other players i'm taking anthony edwards and uh jason tatum aren't the Lakers dominating because LeBron better enjoy Team USA because it's back to Cam Reddish, Gabe Vincent, Jalen Hood, Shafino, and D'Angelo Russell. <laughs> Sad but true. And even worse, someone compared D'Lo to Steph Curry and he humbly agreed. I am sorry, that is delusional. But let's be honest, the Warriors are also a mess. They struck out yeah. on every big name this summer. First Paul George, then Larry Markkinen. At some point, will Curry get impatient? <laughs> Get out. No, he is a warrior for life. But did you hear this insane quote he gave during Team USA camp? It's always my goal to retire as a warrior. And I'm saying that sitting in this chair right now, but pff, life, especially in the NBA, and it's a wild environment and things change quickly. What? Look, I know warrior fans are gonna go at me in the comments. I am just literally showing you what the man said. Do not kill me, but no. I could not see him leaving. I couldn't even see LeBron and Steph celebrating together a couple years ago. Remember 2015 through 2018, finals every year, hated each other. I'm talking LeBron putting Steph's name on a tombstone at a party. Steph made fun of LeBron's silly workout dance at a wedding and had Bron's teammate Kyrie cracking up. But here we are. Damn it, Kyrie, <laughs> that's the enemy. Um... If LeBron, I mean, they gotta they gotta leave both teams. LeBron can't go to Golden State, and Steph can't go to the Lakers. Both fan bases, like the other fan base, would hate that. So what they have to do is they have to go and um, find a team, just a mid team, and just play with them. That's the only way. But it would be dope to see. They had a lot of fun. Them boys were in love. They were in love. I mean, like, what's the in love? So how do they get together? Honestly, I kind of like Nick Wright's suggestion because it gets them on a third team. Neither guy is flipping to help the enemy. 
It's a yeah, neutral so place. I said. So but I said. Nick Wright was wrong about one thing. He forgot the most important trade piece. So the Spurs get LeBron and Steph plus Bronny James. That is what Nick Wright missed. The Lakers get Keldon Johnson, Harrison Barnes, two great picks. Warriors get Devin Vassell, Zach Collins, Sissoko, and two great picks. Now, Bronny has to be in this deal. There is no way that LeBron puts his reputation on the line to get Bronny and then doesn't. Why would anyone, why would they do this trade? This is an awful trade. Let me, let me, let me, let me move my screen. Let me move my screen so you can see that part. I'm down here now. Okay, I'm back up here. Why would they do that trade? That's an awful trade. Like, what do I get? Keldon Johnson and Harrison Barnes and some picks? I traded, you trade LeBron James. So, I mean, that, that means the Spurs, they get LeBron James, Steph Curry, and Victor Webb and Yama on the same team? What is that? That's freaking ridiculous. That is not good. F that. Fulfilled the dream. I put you that might on. say nah. that's too little for Golden State to give up Steph. All Golden State gets is the best young player in the trade and two picks. But if dude wants to team up with LeBron, it kills trade value. I can't imagine how crazy Wimby, LeBron, Steph, and CP3, coached by Greg why would, Popovich, why would that? Why would they do that? <laughs> I mean, is Kevin Durant why would, and Anthony Edwards. Y'all remember in the playoffs when Ant hit a three in Durant's face and talked trash all the way down? He yelled at KD, what I say? What the F I say? Yeah. But all KD can do he can is say the smile. second part. He can say that last part. Kid. Ant on the basketball yeah. court is like Durant on Twitter. No one gives a F. But this goes way back. KD made his NBA debut when Ant was six years old. Soon after, Ant went to his very first NBA game, December 23rd, 2008. Thunder in Atlanta. Probably a Christmas present for little Anthony Edwards. That day, KD became his idol. Then Durant gets injured before Team USA camp and has to come off the bench to play with. I imagine you sitting by that. Imagine Anthony Edwards, little six-year-old Anthony Edwards, and you just sitting by him. He does kids, so like that's so crazy. Like you, you, when you go to an NBA game, you could be sitting by one of the greats one day. You know. And it was a dream come true. Their games complemented each other so well. But how real is this? How much would Ant actually want to play with KD? One of the things that people Probably always ask me is, high. okay, well, what super teams are coming out of here? Who's whispering at their dinners like we're going to team up together? Guys, Ant Edwards, he is trailing Kevin Durant around like a big brother. Like literally Ant gets off the bus with Durant before practice, like Ant is standing next to Durant. <laughs> Ant cannot get enough of him. And the feeling is mutual. That's so, so beautiful. how do they team <laughs> up? I That's think so the most beautiful. realistic option is KD going to Minnesota. The problem yeah. is the salary cap. In fact, most of these trades are impossible to make with the new CBA. If you're over the second apron, you basically can't do deals. Phoenix and the Wolves are over. So instead of some wild impossible deal, I will just say a third team would need to get them who has cap space. Ooh. Or they have to wait until somebody becomes a free agent to take less money. I mean, I think if anything, the Olympics made guys want to play with Anthony Edwards even more. Yeah, they Kevin Durant experience how better. fun yeah. it is to be around him in the locker room and on the court. I mean, if not KD, maybe some other all-star is gonna go to Minnesota after Gobert and Cat move on one day because of these Olympics. But the third super team the here is something man. we've already seen. What? There's a chance playing with Steph Curry under Steve Kerr made Kevin Durant miss the old days. It was obviously a terrible decision to leave the Warriors. Wrong. It was the right decision. I'm not watching that again. That, what he just said, that Kevin Durant, Golden St the Warriors, Steph Curry, that was awful. Hated it a lot. Rockets fan here wasn't a fun time. I should have won. I should have beat him. I was not beating him because of plot. I'm telling you, I'm not trying to go through that again. F that. Wrong. I'm, I'm okay now. In the first place, his career has been a dysfunctional mess ever since. Even KD's own mom admitted they'd have won 20 titles if he stayed. This stat blew my mind. Steph and KD together, 3-0 in elimination games on the Warriors, 4-0 together at the 2010 World Cup and 3-0 again on the Olympics. Their backs are against the wall. Steph and KD together do not lose. A perfect 10 and 0. Now this would not be like going to Golden State back in 2016, 
the Warriors now are in trouble. KD would be the savior. It might even help validate the two championships that he won before. But I do not want to leave out the young guys outside of Anthony Edwards. Hey, that. I mean, if the Suns implode this year or next, who knows what happens with Devin Booker. Steve Kerr went out of his way to praise Book. Literally, like the press over conference Tatum, was boy. over. Tatum ain't doing and nothing. Steve Kerr said, wait, none of you guys asked me about Devin Booker. And then he went on and on about how great he was. Also, remember when I said a third team would have to take some of these guys? Why not the Heat? These stars just played with Bam Adebayo for Adebayo. Eric Spolster as an assistant coach. Stars love to go to Miami. But if any of this happens, I guarantee we will hear that their time together at the 2024 Olympics is where it all started. But no doubt somebody in the comments by now is reminding me of when I called Steph Curry basically a role player. He wasn't playing well at the time, then he popped off, made me look like an idiot, but I officially apologize and I predict who's going to make Team USA in 2028 when gold is not going to come that easy. Oh no, yeah, gold ain't going, yeah, 2028 gold is going to be a lot harder than it is. it was in this, like... But maybe one of those guys, they step up and really be, you know, like really the face because I don't know who the face is. The the three, the big three in this Olympics was the faces of the NBA and they won't be there in 2028. So we'll see who takes over. It might be someone overseas. It might be an international player. Might be Nyama. Uh, this was a fun video. Steph and LeBron, definitely, that will be fun to watch. Um, Anthony Edwards and Kevin Durant be fun. Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. <laughs> I will never in my life, I, I never want that again. Don't play with me, ever. Um, so that was fun, but hey, if you want more reaction videos like this, make sure to like this video. This Olympics was so dope. So sad we got to wait four years for more content about the Olympics. But if you liked the Olympic content in general, check out this video right here where I talk about the most hated Olympian of all time. And before you go, make sure to like this video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.